Hi everyone, you have been doing a fantastic job working on your foreshadowing strategy. I wanted to share another one of my favorite books with you today so you'll get a chance to practice foreshadowing as you read along. Where the Wild Things Are, Story and Pictures by Marie Sendak. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. Think about what happens when you act crazy and you raise your voice at your mom or dad. You might get in trouble, right? So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew. until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day and in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. How do you think wild things look and act like? And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roar their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws till Max said, be still and tamed them with a magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start! One, two, ready, go! Go, son! Big beats! Holes in history! Is where you'll find me! Is where you'll find all is love! Is love! Is love! Max said. Will the wild things listen to Max? Why or why not? And sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was so lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed 
their terrible teeth and roll their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. I hope this lesson helped you understand foreshadowing a little better. Remember, good readers use strategies to understand what they are reading. So if the text foreshadows something, you as a reader would feel prepared for the events when they happen. Where the Wild Things Are, Story and Pictures by Marie Sendak.